What's going on everybody? Coming up is a install video for one of our E46 carbon fiber roof panels. Hopefully this video helps you out before you tackle this project. Keep in mind we're going to make mention of several tools that will make the install much quicker, easier, ultimately nicer as well. We'll put a link to all those in the video description below. Keep in mind this roof is meant for race cars because you're getting rid of some of the roof structure. A roll cage or roll bar is definitely recommended if you end up installing this roof. So before getting started, some of the specialty tools you may need, starting with a center punch and a spot weld bit to do the spot welds to get the roof off. A seam splitter such as this, again, makes taking the roof off really easy. Grinder to clean up any of the spot welds. Once everything's cleaned up, you're going to need a tube of this 3M's panel bonding adhesive. We go over that a little bit later in the video and an applicator gun. Maybe about a dozen or so of these spring clamps and some extra long reach vice grips are nice to have as well. Alternatively, you could use the roof rack holds and some sort of like bolt down thing to keep the roof squished against the car when you do your bonding. So here you can see me zipping around the car doing all the spot welds. That seam buster tool or the um, spot weld splitter will make quick work of the spot welds if you don't get them perfect. You can also see how I just yank the roof up. No, no sense being gentle with it. You just want to get the roof off as quickly as possible. Don't forget the few little legs holding the sunroof frame opening on. So here's the car with the roof off as you can see. Um, I kind of skipped past a lot of the drilling and everything. Um, pretty much a standard drilling out spot welds at that point. As you can see where all the spot welds used to be. The light is making it look funny. Almost like they're like holes but they're not. You can see they're all like that. You don't want to go all the way through. You want to use a spot weld bit such as this. And when you put it on you basically just want to cut a hole around the spot weld to, re to remove the roof skin. And this one, for example, you can see we left the very edge. You can see the spot welds along it because we want to leave these little tabs right here, which allow the factory trim piece to snap back on once it's all done. So here's the roof panel off the car. And again, I'll just kind of show you what I did. You can see how I cleaned up the, this is the edge of the window, basically. And how this spot weld bit basically just cuts out the hole right around the spot weld, which then allows you to just peel the roof skin right off. So as you're prepping and cleaning up everything, one area that's a little bit hard to grind through is this bead of sealer that the factory puts on so just some sort of chisel tool or even a flathead screwdriver is enough to kind of quickly get a majority of it off as you can see then you can just kind of go ahead and grind it down to bare metal like normal so here we are back in my trim room we're going to prep this roof back here just because i have a, a vacuum and it's where i kind of make dust when you're doing it at home definitely wear uh, breathing protection, some sort of respirator, definitely very, very important. So all you really need to prep it is some 80 grit sandpaper, uh, either by hand or a DA, and just some acetone to clean the surface, get you that, that good bond. You don't want any dust on the surface when you bond it to the car. Now the acetone just to wipe it down. I like to vacuum it off just to kind of keep that uh, as much dust as possible from getting airborne. So there you go. Now the roof panel is ready to be bonded to the car. One area that might need a little bit of clearance to get the roof to sit flush against the car is around these mounting lugs for a roof rack might be a little hard to see but there's a tiny bit of a gap because 
as you can see, there's a little bit of a lip. Let's see if I can. A little bit of a lip left by this thing that doesn't quite keep the roof sitting flush. So when we trim these here at our shop, we leave it a little bit smaller. That's actually the size of the factory sheet metal roof. You might have to clearance that a little bit just to get it to fit a little bit nicer. One of the best bits we found for reaming out carbon is this tooth carbide bit, we'll call it. Uh, it's for a, a Dremel. I'll go ahead and put a, a link to this thing in the description below. This thing's awesome for doing fine little detail work like this to ream out stuff just to get it to fit uh, for carbon, fiberglass, uh, even plastics and stuff. This works really good. So test fitment is done. I'm happy with how everything sits and fits. Um, basically all I had to do was that slight little clearance around those roof rack holds. Um, and that's about it. We are on to bonding. So for bonding, what we use is this 3M 8115 panel bonding adhesive. It's a little bit expensive. It's like 35, 40 bucks a tube, but this stuff's definitely uh, what you want to use. It comes with two little applicator tips, as you can see. But you will need an applicator gun. Uh, looks like a fancy caulk gun. There is a cheaper option. I'll go ahead and put a link to the tubes and the cheaper option of this applicator gun. As you can see, there's kind of like a, a small tube and a big tube on the bottom. So that's why it kind of needs uh, something special to, to use it. Something that's very important with panel bond is you want to spread it out and make sure you cover any bare metal. If not, the bare metal will, will oxidize and then have a reaction with the carbon fiber touching it. Here I'm just putting down a nice bead and then brushing that out. And then same thing on the chassis of the car, a nice bead, and then brush that out to cover any bare metal. Putting the roof on is a one-man job, as you can see. Just make sure you get the orientation right before you drop it down. Just go ahead and clamp it up and let it cure. So there you go. At this point, all you have to do is reinstall your roof trim, glass, any interior bits, and you're good to go. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, please hit the subscribe button below. We're going to start doing more install videos, product review videos, stuff like that uh, to help you out so you can kind of see what you're getting into before tackling certain projects. If you have any other questions, please reach out. We'd love to answer them. We'd love to hear from you. And see you at the track.